What's up gang, Tim Newbold here from OKR Quick Start. So what I'm gonna be giving you today is the full structure, the agenda, the actual facilitation techniques you're gonna use, and then the actual follow-on steps afterwards. What do you need to do after one of these sessions? We're gonna go through the full gamut here. Now we're gonna be using a Miro template that we've created that you can get in the description below. But if you're not using Miro, you can use it in plenty of other tools, the same sort of format. Or if you're going old school and doing it up on a whiteboard, you can use the same method. So what do we need to do to actually get started from one of these activities? Because ultimately it's about you having a confident OKR setting session and that all comes with preparation. The reality is it's actually not getting organized for the workshop as the first step. The first step is getting clear on what is most important right now. And that's gonna look a little bit different if you're part of an executive team or part of a team just within an organization, maybe you're a product team or something like that. So if you're part of an executive team, it's really critical that you start to get focus for the whole business. And you do that by talking to the team members around the business, understanding what do they see is important? What are some of the problems they'd like solved? We then need to think about What's the strategy say? What's the next logical step that we need to take on our strategy? Because of course, OKRs is all about taking a valuable slice out of our strategy. You then might wanna be talking to customers and possibly other stakeholders, shareholders, board members, all these sort of people to start thinking about what is most important. Now you're not collecting a laundry list, you're starting to get insights into what is most important right now. A really powerful question I like to ask is, if we're to move the needle on nothing except for one thing, what would that be? That's gonna start priming us for a conversation into what's our OKR. Now, if you're part of a team, a product team, it might be a little bit of an easier conversation, but ultimately you've still gotta think about what are those key priorities? Talk to your customers, understand what are they needing? If you already have OKRs being set in the business and maybe a goal is being set right now by the exec team, make sure you review that in advance. Anyhow, so hopefully you've got some clarity around what's most important and you can share these insights with your team. What are some people saying? And this is a responsibility of every team member, by the way. It's not just the team lead or the CEO. You all need to go out and get these insights. When we come together, we're gonna need to be ready to rock and roll in our OKR session. So we don't wanna be still trying to work out what's important. So as we come in, We need to think about if I'm going to come in with an objective, what would that look like? So I'm actually going to draft that as an activity in advance. When I've got an idea of that, I might also think about some measures and other ways I'm going to know really how am I going to measure my success throughout the quarter? What are some good metrics we have access to? So these are just going to be some draft thoughts that I'm going to have. Now, when we come into the OKR setting session, we're actually gonna wanna do some reflection as well. And I'm not gonna go too deep into that right now because that's really a topic for another another sort of session where we're gonna talk about the review process, how do you sort of capture key insights? I'll touch on it briefly, but we're gonna go pretty short. And then of course, we're into a strategic discussion around what's most important and then we actually start writing up the OKRs. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you this template that we've got over here. So just to give you a bit of a heads up, you wanna be able to use this template and understand how does this sort of work and what are the key sort of activities. And so if we look over here, we've got a bit of that pre-work that we sort of talked about there. Now, of course, you wanna make sure the team are clear on the OKR framework. So we've also got a link here to our training where people can actually do some of our free OKR training to understand the concepts and really make sure they're set up for success. We also can share the workshop agenda. What's gonna be covered in the OKR workshop? Now we generally say allow about two hours to do this. If you're just starting out, give it three hours, but ultimately you can spend days doing this. If it's something you're really passionate about and it is the most important thing for the quarter, then why wouldn't you spend a whole day really getting clear on what it is? So minimum of two hours, maximum of a day or two, depending on what sort of level of impact you wanna make. But as you can see, this agenda follows the structure that I just sort of talked about. Now, as I was saying, I don't wanna get too deep into the reflective part of this, but over here, we can see we've got our end of OKR review. That's really step two, review the quarter. We've done our planning, we're prepared. Now we've got to review the quarter. And a really simple way to do this is have the team pre-fill this with their OKR from the last quarter, give themselves a score on each of the key results and talk about the key achievements, the lessons learned and what's outstanding. So at least you know what might need to be considered as part of the next quarter if you haven't achieved everything you want to achieve in this current quarter. So 
let's go down. We've got a bit of a scale for the scoring there. The team can use that. And then we wanna do a bit of a lesson learned. Now this is more about the OKR process itself. What worked, what didn't work. Again, there's a whole process behind this and that's for another video. Now we're at that strategic discussion. What is most important right now? And again, this is really the critical part for framing up the rest of the session here. So as we can see here, we've got the now, next and later. When we talk about now, that means what do we need to do this coming quarter? So the quarter that we're planning for. What's coming next might come the quarter after that or the next cycle, depending on what you're talking about. We're talking about the next cycle that is gonna be the one that is you know, the next one after. So we might be planning for the next three months as part of the now, and the next might be for the next three months after that. Later, we don't wanna to get too deep into when's that gonna be? You know, Is it a year out, is it two years out? This is where it can be really any sort of time period. So that's the sort of time dimensions that we're gonna talk about here. Obviously, our focus is here and now. What's coming up for the next cycle, the very next thing that we need to do? And We've got our OKRs down here. This is where we talk about our priorities that are about driving change. This is where OKRs are about driving a meaningful, valuable outcome for the business. It's something that's gonna deliver value for the customers, something that's gonna make us better and stronger. That's all about OKRs. It's driving change and improvement. Now, these are the things too that there might be other priorities that people bring into the session. There might be hygiene factors. It might be things like we need to sort of do some compliance work or something like that. That's not your OKR. That's something that you just need to do. But if your OKR is about improving a customer experience, getting more customers, growing the business in a certain direction, that's your OKR. Anything else can be put down in your other priorities. And I encourage you to capture those, track them, but they're not part of your OKR. They're just the stuff that you need to do. So we go from the strategic discussion. Through that, hopefully you've got a bit of a feel for what are the candidates for the here and now. That leads us nicely into the actual OKR setting. So as you can see, we've got a few rows here. I'm a massive advocate of having one OKR and it's also gonna make your session go so much faster. Now, why one? It's all about focus. You look at any business that's been really successful and I'm talking like the apples of the world, right? Steve Jobs is famous for quoting that innovation isn't saying yes to the right things. It's about saying no to everything else that doesn't matter. It's about that one thing that really makes an impact. So this is where if we can focus on those one things, we make an absolute killer of a business. What we're going to be doing is hopefully coming up with one objective and set of key results. And those key results between sort of two to three is the sweet spot. Maybe you're gonna have four or five, but we wanna try and keep it more focused. But right now, we're writing our objectives. So here you can see post-it notes where people are gonna be able to write their objective ideas based on that strategic discussion. Now, hopefully that discussion's helped narrow everyone into a top few key themes. Now, if everyone's quite got quite different views, you might actually wanna use these voting dots. These can be dragged into position. Plenty of tools, including Miro, have their own native sort of voting, so you can do that too, but we just like having the sort of little dots there you can drag around. What I suggest is you're gonna have between sort of three to four to five votes. My suggestion is have three votes, vote on what's most important and vote how you like. You can put your three votes on one objective idea here, or you can put it on three different ones, but my advice, get that focus, put it on only just a few that really matter. Once you've had that discussion, you've probably landed on an objective theme or ideally even a single objective. Now, the reality is this goes into your objective idea over here. You don't wanna spend a long time sort of wordsmithing it, right? Your time is too valuable for that. This is about getting everyone's ideas, agree that this OKR is directionally on the right direction, or sorry, this objective is directionally in the right direction. And then we know, right, well, that looks like what success should look like at the end of the quarter. We can wordsmith to make it perfect. Leave the wordsmithing till afterwards. Once you've landed on that objective and you've sort of pretty happy with the content, we then want to get down to our key results ideas. Now, of course, key results are measures of progress and measure of ultimate success. Ideally, they're leading indicators and we've got some great content on this. I'm going to include that in the description as well. But realistically, the simple form is their measures and they should be going from a current measure to a target measure. If I've got 10 leads coming in a month, then maybe my new target is get it up to 30 per month. That's what the key result will look like. And so we're gonna ask everyone in the session to now write down their key result ideas. So here we can see we've got the key result text. We're going from Y, sorry, from X to Y. It's a current measure and a target measure. 
And so the key result might be something literally like increase the number of leads we have coming per month from 200 increased to 300 per month. Nice, simple, concise, and to the point, very easy for people to measure. There's no sort of complex calculations behind that. As long as you're clear where you get that data from, it's easy. We've then got the source. Now it's all good and well to put a really good key result in there, but if you've just sort of made it up or you have no understanding of where that data is gonna come from, then you need to do some homework. And this is where we wanna capture that. Do we know where that comes from? What's the source gonna be? Note it down. Now, do not be tempted at this point to include the stuff you're going to do, all right? So what we're not going to do is increase leads through some sort of marketing campaign or some sort of webinar series. We don't want to put that in the key result. That's for the initiatives. That's the work to be done. That comes later. I promise we'll get to it. But this is how you write a really good key result. Get that structure in. If you don't know what the numbers are today, maybe you don't know how many leads you've got coming in per month, leave that to after the session. You can come back to that. So the objective is a statement of what you want to achieve. It should be engaging, exciting, and something really meaningful. It's going to be talking about where do you end up at the end of the quarter? What have you actually achieved? But the key results are the part that measure it. And so this is why it's so important to make sure we get these nice measurable key results. We've got a bit of a guide here that's a bit of a prompt to make you think about a good quality key result. And again, we have a bunch of stuff on that. More on that in the description. And by the way, You'll see each of these sections have a bit of a time guide on this. So if you're running this session, you should be able to guide yourself through that as well. Over here, we've got the finalization part. So at this point here, you've written down all your key results. You need to get it ready to put into the final OKR. So just like we did with the objective, we're going to vote on which of these are most meaningful. Now, generally, you're going to get a lot more key result ideas. So I'm going to suggest you put more votes on it so you can actually see uh, exactly where the hotspots are. So I allow up to sort of five votes per person. Use them how you like. You know, people can put them all on one if they want. They can put them on many, but it's all about working out where are those hotspots. What you'll find is that there's going to be some sort of convergence. Generally, there's going to be a top few sort of key results that really are the hot contenders for the session. So based on that, you choose the top few that really are most meaningful. Again, if you get just two, that's perfect. If you get three or four, that's fine. If you get five or above, you're starting to get to a few too many. Once you've got that voting, it's now easy to bring it across into this sort of template. Paste your objective in there, the statement of what you want to achieve. Paste in your key results. And also put in why is this important? This is just a quick discussion point to have just to go, you know, this all sounds great, but why are we actually doing this? This is how you connect the team with purpose. Get them excited about them. Get them on board with the whole intent behind this OKR. To really make sure that you've got responsibility and ownership behind each of the key results, we have a champion here. Now, the intent of the champion is to really make sure that they are advocating for that key result. Doesn't mean they're doing all the work. Doesn't mean they're responsible for it. If we don't achieve it, it's their fault. But it means that they are through the entire quarter being the voice of that key result, going, gang, are we focusing on this the right way? Let's say you're an executive team and you're not the CEO, but you still might pull, call out to the CEO and say, this is something we need to put more focus on. This is something we're falling short on because I don't see us actually achieving this with the right focus. And she might come back to you and say, that's fine, but we need to focus elsewhere. And you can still call it back to this. And this is where we can start to free up our time by saying, this is what we agreed is most important. All these other things are the noise that pops up throughout the quarter that's not as important as what we set out to do. And that is a game shift and a big shift in thinking. Finally, we now need to write down the initiatives. And this is the last part of the process, but one of the most important parts. It's where you actually turn the objective, what you're trying to achieve, the measures of success being your key results, how you're making progress towards that. It actually turns into something tangible. And that's where we talk about the pieces of work. So again, maybe we're back to the lead generation key result. We might now actually say one initiative is a marketing campaign. Another initiative is going to be a webinar series that we're running and any other ideas that come in. My point here is put in things that you know you want to do. Maybe you've got no idea and that's okay. Your number one piece of work is to do some sort of discovery. You know, let's say you've got some sort of a problem where it's taking too long to ship your product to customers and you want to bring that down from 10 days to two days, but you're not quite sure exactly how you're going to do that. Have a post-it note there that talks about discovery for how you're going to do this. 
It's a really, really good way to separate out your objective from your key results from the actual work that you're going to do to get there. Now, at the end of this session, you're probably going to need to do some refinement and clean up. So give yourself a bit of time to clean up this OKR. But of course, just writing the OKR, you're not finished. You can write all the most wonderful goals in the world, but you're not going to be successful unless you actually take action. And this is where we talk about the next steps over here. So after the workshop, number one, do that refinement. Number two, host a playback session. So this might be a new idea to you. It's about teams sharing their, their goals, being really clear on here's what we're trying to do. Here's where other teams can help and support us. And this is a way that we drive alignment in the business and get everyone on the same page. So an OKR playback session is really important and you will generally do it with all the other teams setting OKRs. If the business is quite big, you know, you're a bit of an enterprise and maybe there's, let's say, between 10 plus sort of teams, you know, 10, 20 teams, you can sometimes get away with this in an hour, hour and a half. Otherwise, it starts getting a bit too big. You want to split it out to multiple sort of sessions. But generally, you can host these sessions, get multiple teams together. We're not doing a deep dive. It's just a quick overview of here's the objective, here's our key results, here's why it's important, and here's the things that we're going to do to make that happen. And by the way, here's how you can help. And so that's, again, that alignment piece. Now, once you've got aligned, hopefully you're actually doing the work. Now, the problem is you don't want to forget about your OKR and go, oh, that's it. We're sort of now moving on to the next thing. You've now got to execute on it. And that's where you do a weekly check-in. And again, we have some great content on this. I'm not going to go into this now because I think we've already got covered a whole bunch of ground. But really what you want to be doing is checking on that OKR weekly and doing a confidence score. How confident are you that you're going to hit each of those key results? And if you're not confident, call out for help. Gang, that is it in a nutshell. This whole template you can download and feel free to use. It's pretty simple to do. You just click on the title when you go to the link and it'll have an option to duplicate or something like that. More than welcome to take it and use it and turn it into whatever you like. You know, This is something for you to mess with and come up with your own sort of designs. I encourage you to do that. If you like this content and find it valuable, I would love and it would mean so much to me for a like and add some comments below as well. You know, what did you like about this? What didn't you like? What have you tried in the past when you're setting OKRs and found worked or not worked? Because this is great that we can learn from each other. Finally, if you want to keep across this content and see all of our new content coming up, hit the subscribe button. I'll make sure that you get the notification every time that it comes out. Well, at least if you hit the notification bell, you get that. But either way, even just subscribing, you'll see our content coming up. And I can't wait to share so much more material with you. Again, gang, I hope this has helped you set an amazing OKR with your team and setting you up for success with them. Get them involved, have a bunch of fun, have an incredible quarter and do some purposeful, meaningful work. And I'll see you next time.